coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. Hey, hey, hey. Time for the World Championship of North Philadelphia. The kick of E is none other than Rudy E, who happens to be yours truly. Come on, Moth. Uh, Moth? Uh, why you call me Moth, man? Because you're always doing the rag. <laughs> <laughs> right at you, small fry. <laughs> team may be clumsy, but they're not graceful. Let's see how they try to handle Daryl. <laughs> Some girl trying to catch Daryl? <laughs> No, he's not okay. In fact, Daryl looks less like an okay and more like a KO. That means knocked out. Hey, look, it's that time! It's not a bird. It's not a bee. It's a brown. Hornet! As you recall, last time we left our hero, the Brown Hornet, and his trusty pal Stinger, hopelessly trapped, about to be overrun by a herd of crazed astronauts from the primitive planet of Azusa. Using the Brown Hornet's superpowers, they naturally escaped now we pick up with our heroes as they face an even worse threat. Hold everything. Come in, please. 
Brown Hornet, superhero par excellence at your service. Uh, uh, I think I need help. Lately, my stripes have begun to fade away. Help me. Fear not, Stella. Your all-time favorite superhero is on the case. This is my version of a Hornet probe. Stand by for detonation. How long before you get a result, Brown Hornet? Hornet probe reporting. Stella is hiding in a space cave on a barren asteroid. To the barren asteroid crew. <laughs> Cease fire, Stella. I am here to help you. Go away! I've changed my mind! I don't need help! Go! Leave me alone! I don't get it. First Stella begs for help, then refuses it. Not at all unusual, Stinger. It is the old, something is wrong with me, but I will pretend it is not so, and it will go away. <coughs> it might be a trick. A trick. <laughs> Stella, escape whilst you can. <laughs> Time for, you should excuse the expression, betting practice. <laughs> Feathered friend, stay in there till you are needed. Don't call us, and we won't call you. How can I ever thank you enough? Simply by continuing your rapid recovery. Right, crew? Right! Right! I realize how wrong and dangerous it was for me to run away to avoid aid. True, the key to a healthy, normal space life is early detection and help. And speaking of space life, I have another full schedule of superhero rescues awaiting me today. So little time. That's our man for all seasons, the Brown Hornet. He knows it's not enough to say the right thing at the right time. It has to be said to the right person. And in this case, it was Stella. He proved to her that if something bad is happening to us, we should do something about it. Uh, Brown Hornet! You called? You were talking before of rescuing, right? Then how about rescuing us? Huh? Boxing Glove Space Clouds, we are about to be punched out. Will our daring heroes survive their latest dangerous threat? If so, how? Tune in next week for another exciting episode of The Brown Hornet! Remember, Weird Harold, uh, use only your arms, not your skinny pipe stem legs. <laughs> <laughs>
string rope. <laughs> Skip it, clowns. After all, my wit speaks for itself. And don't interrupt it. suddenly seems to have cooled on exercise. Fat Albert's noticed this sudden temperature change, too. Hey, Daryl, wait up a minute. Uh, I got a question for you. Are you okay? I mean, you're not sick from a cold or anything like that, are you? Oh, no. I just get a little tired faster than I used to. That's all. It might be from this, this sort of sore throat. I, I got this little swelling here. Well, it does look a little puffy. Did you talk to your parents about it? Look, why don't you let Miss Heston, this, our school nurse, check it out? No, forget it. I'll, I'll get over this in a couple of days. Daryl's not too keen on seeing the nurse. Most of us feel the same way about getting medical help. Oh, there's nothing wrong with me, no, sir. We have excuses for backing out, like, I don't want to go to the doctor till I feel better. Or, I don't want to call the doctor now. She might be in. <laughs> anyway, Fed Albert's a real true friend, and I have a hunch he'll keep after Daryl to get help. What a nice surprise. I see you here so rarely. Well, it's not about me. It's about Daryl. Well, he's been getting pooped lately. I mean, tired when he exercises. That's unusual for Daryl. I know. That's why I'm worried about him. Well, he's got sort of swelling on his neck. I see. It might not be a bad idea for Daryl to come by for a little checkup. OK, I'm pretty sure he'll do it. In fact, I'm real sure he'll do it. I won't do it. But all Miss Heston has wants you to do is come in so she can check that little swelling on your neck. How many times do I have to tell you? I'll, I'll be all right in a couple of days. Ugh. Uh, if you're sure of something, you never have to yell it, which leads you to believe that maybe Daryl isn't too sure. But we've got to look at it from Daryl's point of view. None of us likes to be sick, and he's not a hypochondriac. A hypochondriac is somebody who enjoys ill health. So Daryl overreacts when Fat Albert mentions sickness, because down deep inside, Daryl's a little worried over the way he feels. He's almost as worried as Fat Albert, who knows that Daryl is in need of help. Lots more help than even Fat Albert suspects. You'll see soon. I'm a Fat Albert, a friend of Daryl's. Oh, yes, I've heard Daryl mention you. Daryl's inside. Do come in. I will, in just a second. Daryl isn't expecting me, see? But I want to talk to him, and with you and his dad, too, please. I got the idea from watching the Brown Hornet. In the Brown Hornet, a robot named Stella needed help, but she was afraid to get it, see? Uh, I don't quite... So a good friend of Stella got the Brown Hornet to come and help, and that's why I'm here. I want to help Daryl, and we both need your help, and Mr. Horvath's help. Norm, can you come here a second? Be right there. Fat Albert? None other. I guess you're wondering what I'm doing here. 
I had to talk to you with your folks, too. Albert's a friend of Daryl's. That's why I'm here. Something's wrong with Daryl. Ask him. Nothing's that wrong. I made the mistake of telling Fat Albert about getting tired lately, and he's making a big thing out of it. And that swelling? Am I making something big out of that, too? Swelling? What swelling? It's just, just this little deal here. I wish you had told me about it. It's nothing. How long have you had this, Daryl? Only a couple of weeks, that's all. I'll get over it soon. Hold it, Mom. Don't call a doctor. There's nothing wrong with me. Hello? Dr. Schlesinger? We can sympathize with Daryl. He knows there's something really amiss in his physical condition, but he'd rather not face up to it. He's just hoping it'll go away. But sometimes hope needs a helping hand. The swelling on Daryl's neck, is it a sore throat? Actually, it's a swollen lymph gland. Different infections can cause a gland to become enlarged. Have you had any back or abdominal, I mean, stomach pain? Well, not too much. Just maybe once in a while. I'd like to run a few tests on you. Tests? What kind of tests? Very simple ones, Daryl. I'll explain it as we go along. Well, Daryl's taking the all-important first step, early detection. Okay, now who's gonna be first? I be Frodo says who? I'm first. <laughs> okay, okay, Rudy, we'll let you go first. <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Rudy, our first boob sled rider. Not boob sled, man, bob sled. In your case, boob sled. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody hand him a bar of soap. <laughs> hey, Fat Albert, what's with you? You look like you just lost your last friend. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we have. It's, it's Daryl. He's in the hospital. Daryl's got Hodgkin's disease. Hodgkin's disease? What's that? It's... It's a form of cancer. Cancer. That's just a word, and sometimes a word can be more scary than the real thing. Now we're beginning to understand why Daryl got tired so easily and why he had that swelling of the throat. Let's check in on him again. Am I... am I gonna... die? No, Daryl, no. You're not going to die. Because our x-rays and laboratory tests show the cells to be confined in one lymph node area. Radiation treatments alone can work the cure at this stage. Radiation? You mean that stuff like in the science fiction movies? No, not exactly. In fact, quite the opposite. The basic principle of radiation therapy is aimed at the cancer. With rays, it doses which destroy the cancer, yet cause no damage to the healthy surrounding tissues. How... how long do I have to get radiated? Well, because your condition was detected early, it won't take too long. Let's face it, <laughs> you and me got a strange and wonderful relationship going. <laughs> You're strange and I'm wonderful. <laughs> hey, what are we stopping for? To freshen up our special gift bouquet of flowers for Daryl. First now, you're too old to be as young as you are. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, come on in. We brought you some flowers fresh from the trash pile back at Nick's flower shop. Daryl and I have been expecting you. Hmm. Great cookies, Mrs. Horvath. How you feeling, Daryl? Just great. The doctor says I can tear up the playground in a couple more days. You sure? Fat Albert said you were real sick. I mean, real sick. I'm not sick anymore. I haven't felt this well in a long time. That's a strange thing about what I had, you know? Hodgkin's disease. They thought it couldn't be cured until the 1960s. And right now, it can be cured in up to 90% of all cases. So if you feel sick, don't keep it a secret from your folks or your doctor. They only want to help. <laughs> and as for you, Fat Albert, you deserve a big bonus. You saved me a lot of grief, maybe even my life, when you went to my folks to make sure I saw a doctor. Oh, I couldn't eat all of these. I couldn't. I couldn't. I could. <laughs> Wonder what I've got to do to get some of those cookies. Hey, fellas. Ah, thank you. Fat Albert really earned his reward when he blew the whistle on Daryl. The real hope for the future is in early detection. Specialists all over the world are improving techniques and developing more effective combinations of treatments. So, if you notice any change in your health, tell your folks about it. Yeah, see, the key to saving lives is early detection and treatment. Yes, indeed. Ah, I hurt myself. Is there a doctor in the house?